piece of stock. So uh, if you look at something like this and you want to repeat it, just, just figure out, you know, you need a little metal in the center and the rest of it is just a twist. Except you need a little extra width on your sides to bend these flanges at the end of your stock. So what I do to get that extra metal, I'll stick that tip down in the vise and I'll pound on that before I twist it. Mm -hmm. I will hit the top of this and it will flare these bottom parts out just a little bit and thicken them up. I take it back, flatten them out, and it, it spreads that into a, like a little fan shape at the end. Mm -hmm. That's called upset. Yeah, I upset the end of it. If you, anytime you move metal back up against itself to make it bigger or wider, it's called upset. upset. Yeah. Okay. So I upset the end, and I bring it back and lay it on. It, it, when I lay it at the edge of the anvil, it's flared like this. I take the hammer and just drop it down over the edge, that corner. I flip it over, that's sticking up, this one goes down, I do the same thing, just drop it down over the edge. And uh, when I get that done, I heat it again, put it in the vise, twist it, and okay. uh, the rest is followed. Except for doing the, I dress up the tip after I get it twisted and done. Yeah, really got a start on it. Okay, I brought some stuff with this. I think I'm going to edit this piece. This takes pretty good hammer control. how I'm bringing my hammer back mm -hmm. into that corner to get that edge. try to get that edge. You can never get a perfectly straight edge. So that's why I put it in the vise and upset the end and get a good square shoulder on it. center. And all I have to do is lay it up on the end. You can bump that around to wherever you need it. Now I'll start upsetting this end, putting a lot of down pressure on. Getting slide out of square. I want to upset a little more. We're getting good width. Mm -hmm. thing in the center, start it down in there, fudge it over to the side a little bit, go on. I will actually go out just a little beyond this and, and that will leave me room when I get this bent down the width of my stock on the outside will still be wider than my shank. Okay.
pluck it. Then the shank. So the rest of your twist, if it's slide, they all perfection, uh, perfection, perfect spiral. Mm -hmm. That little wall won't bind you up in the hole. Okay. I'm gonna make it a little more narrow just to get it a little closer. Mm -hmm. I've got plenty of width, but it's always easier. At this point, you want to square those edges anyway. So always draw it a little wider. And when you get it out the next time, just dress up the corners a little bit. If you get it too narrow, you can never wind it out if you're done. You can always fudge it together. Use enough dirt, shoot right off. You put your sleeve on your bed. And keep your feet warm. You're talking Chrissy's language right now. I need to work my sleep. That's all I can do to not warp the tip, so I have to quit with that and do the rest with the file. I can get a, get a little bit of it with the hammer. If you don't feel comfortable hitting it with a hammer, that's with those sharp points, just do it with a file instead of messing your edge up with the hand. <laughs> Just trying to make sure I'm centered up really good. Hold of that end to give it a twist. That you don't have more stock in the device than you have to have to just hold it. Because the more you put in here, the more you have to file down. Okay. That very little tip that is stuck in there that won't twist has to be filed off when I get the twist done. Okay. So do as little as possible. Okay. I tried to put it in the other way and just take a fork thing and twist without putting it in the vise so I wouldn't have to file that off. But it warps my ends where they're not. I screwed up. I didn't put the vice grips on right away. So I'll have to do it with this. I don't have time to mess around. die just a little bit so the tip doesn't cool too fast. I can do a little more working on heat though. Yeah, he was talking about <laughs> that's that's a little bit Yeah. So that is try to make it a clean it's gonna take a little bit more filing to keep from having a little notch in that corner. Yeah, I can see it. That might have happened when I bumped it in the vise or the way I was twisting it. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty important to try and remember that. Things like that can happen very